Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be going over the OSCP Plus 6 m review that I passed recently and as you can see on the screen on the OSSEC page since the November 1st this year OSCP has changed format to traditional OSCP exam now being an OSCP Plus exam with the biggest change in the Active Directory when we now start the Active Directory assessment with the assumed compromised or the assumed bridged scenario where we are giving the credentials of the Active Directory user. So I just wanted to talk about the exam and the new format of the exam since this is a relatively new format of the OSCP exam. And then there is no many reviews about it since it was recently introduced. So for the exam and uh, my overall experience is really positive experience when coming to the course. On the second screen here, I do have a note that I want to talk about during this video. So if I'm looking this way, I just want to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. So when it comes to the exam and the course, I really enjoy the overall course uh, both when it comes to the content of the course and the challenges inside of the, each module of the course and also the challenges by the end of the course including the different machines different scenarios that we are given uh, when it comes to the uh, another change that's actually happening with USB plus that's removal of the bonus points that we had before but despite that i also try to tend to do as many challenges as many machines as possible because i found it extremely useful extremely great practice and i, I found it really really important for the uh, exam preparation overall so i do have a couple notes that i made here when it comes to the resources that i used the approach to the exam and the previous experience so let's get started right away when it comes to the uh preparation when it, uh, when it comes to preparation for the exam content wise i found this extremely nice craft i'm going to move myself just a little bit here but it, when it which explains and displays the importance of doing the pwk machine labs and we can see here the more you do uh, of course the, the better you're going to do on the exam itself so despite there is no more bonus points still you have to go ahead and uh, do as many challenges as many machines as possible to get it practice uh, because it's extremely important so you can see here on the left hand side oscp pass rate and then we can see here depending on the number of machines there is a percentage percentage increases so i just wanted to introduce this one i really like the graph and i think it's definitely useful definitely true uh, when it comes to the two main resources that I used during the preparation is definitely two most famous lists when it comes to the OSCP exam. And the first one is, of course, the TJ Null list. Uh, this is not the one, so let me go ahead and look for the right one yeah exactly this one so this is the one that i used uh, most of the time when i was preparing for the exam and i finished all the hack the box machines but also all the proving grounds practice machines uh, including the linux and windows boxes as well as the active directory boxes in the uh, hack the box uh, oh they're actually served here as well so i thought there is a separate section for these so yeah definitely a very nice very comprehensive list an amazing list so in many different oscp reviews when it comes to the videos or articles digital list is definitely uh, always there extremely great resource when it comes to the preparing for the exam and getting those reps and practices uh, for both proving grounds practice and hack the box i'm going to talk more about both uh, platforms just in a second the second list that i utilized is what i learned about during the halfway my preparation for the oscp itself and that's the list from the lane uh, amazing list constantly being updated with a nice feedback and comments from the lane himself it's an amazing resource that i found out when it comes to this list i finished i do believe 90% uh, of the windows machines from the hack the box around 50% machines of the uh, uh, from the hack the box from the linux machines and then all of the active directory uh, and the networks uh, what i found is also really interesting and also really good way that to practice is there is a many uh, overlap machines between the two lists so it's important to uh, look at the both lists i would say so uh, when it comes to the uh, proving grounds practice machines from the lanes list i did finish all of those i would say 90 uh, 95 percent of all the machines while i didn't have time to go over the virtual hacking labs i didn't have time to to do the try hack me and i also didn't touch the proving grounds play or the bone lab so i primarily stick with the proving grounds practice and then the hack the box uh, so Looking at my notes here, and when it comes to the uh, resources that I utilized uh, uh, alongside of these list, two lists, what's included here is the proving grounds 
uh, practice. It's an amazing platform. It's coming from the offsec itself. So it's really nice machines to get styles like the OSCP like machines. Extremely recommended. Uh, you do have to purchase this additionally, but uh, I would say definitely worth it. Uh, great machines when it comes to Windows, um, a Windows side machine, Linux machine, and Active Directory machines. The second resource that I utilized all of the time alongside the Proving Grounds practice is the Hack the Box. And when making this video at this point of the time, Hack the Box also introduced the first two machines with the assumed breach or assumed compromise scenario. So I would say the timing is great for Hack the Box because the OSCP also changed the uh, format to the OSCP Plus with the assumed breach. So I'm really thankful for that one. And those two machines that are also noted here in the lanes list are the certified from the Hack the Box and also the administrator. So I highly recommend doing both of these machines. Uh, those are extremely uh, important if you ask me for that mindset when you have the credentials at the start of the machine and then you kind of start from there as you would do in the OSCP with the given credentials with the assumed scenario so if we go ahead and close this one we can see at the beginning of the machine we can go ahead and observe that these are the credentials that we start with the user of the active directory so we don't have to worry about compromising the or actually first exploiting the web application or finding the credentials we are already in so let's go ahead and do what we see what we can do with the credentials start the block on further enumeration exploitation of the active directory so extremely useful uh Oleg, i do believe he made a comment about the uh, these two machines as well right here stating that the certify is even harder than the OSCP itself but extremely great practice and i do agree when it comes to the i don't know about uh, the how hard it is compared to the OSCP, but I would say that it's extremely, uh, extremely beneficial for the mindset and the approach to the new exam format. When it comes to the, my previous experience, what I found useful for the exam and for the preparation itself are the certs that I have from before. And those these, these are the PMPT for the TCM security and also the PJPT. So these two I found extremely useful because it gives you like the booster, the confident, the boost your confidence as well for the active directory because these are highly active directory focused. During the TCM courses, you also had a chance to build your own AD set. So you, your, your own small lab, which I also find really beneficial for my understanding and the knowledge of the Active Directory. Of course, not a prerequisite for the OFCP by any means, just something that I found useful and beneficial for me and for my experience during the exam and during the preparation for the exam itself. Um, that will be the Active Directory wise when it comes to the web web app and testing and just web application vulnerabilities. I did pass the BSCP exam from the ports figure. Uh, I also have a YouTube video if you're interested about it this summer. Extremely comprehensive cert and the content when it comes to the web application vulnerabilities of all sorts. Uh, of course, not prerequisite for your SCP. Uh, you don't have to finish all the uh, modules and the uh, topics that, that's covered by the uh, ports figure, but the labs are free, the content is free. I do believe you don't even have to sign up to in order to spawn the labs and practice. And I think when I was researching the uh, other reviews for the OSCP, uh, almost everyone this is mentioned as a great resource for the web app and testing, web app enumeration of the vulnerabilities and exploit further exploitation because Linux machines are usually tightly related to the web application vulnerabilities and then it's really great practice uh, for this one, not of course limited to the Linux machines. Uh, the next thing that I want to mention is the tools, uh, what I found extremely uh, good advice and extremely beneficial from other reviews and from my experience so far is that never relying on the one tool so for an example if i'm using the ligolo for port forwarding there is there needs to be a backup plan or plan b if ligolo fails you can go ahead and uh, use the chisel if chisel fails there is a plink there is a plain ssh if you're doing a local port forwarding or remote port forwarding on linux machines so uh, this is extremely important because uh, different environments, different machines are acting differently. So having the backup plan and not wasting time on researching other tools and researching the uh, other methods extremely useful when it comes to the exam itself and also when practicing, you don't want to waste many hours just troubleshooting one tool, go ahead, try another one. So I think this is a really great advice. Um, 
Another one is the Discord, the uh, Discord from the OffSec itself, an amazing community, uh, real helpful whenever I was stuck with the challenges, the machines, or just have an overall question, this is the place, go to place, because usually the question I had was already asked and already answered before, so I didn't have to ask it all, just use the search feature of a Discord and look for it. Extremely beneficial and powerful for the Pen200 course machines and challenges, uh, so definitely, uh, when you buy the course and register with the course, uh, definitely link your Discord account and uh, get most out of it. And then the final thing that I want to mention is what I found also beneficial is, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, is about the notes and note taking, of course. Um, I assume you already know about this if you are this far from the video. So what I found beneficial and what I learned when I was preparing for your exam and whole process is that I understand the best when I try to explain the others. So what I did is I started a simple blog post here, blog uh, blog post, uh, the blog, simple blog website launched with the WordPress. I use choose the WordPress because it's easiest uh, for me at the moment. So what I did is just write small write-ups for the majority hack the box machines. I wanted to do the same for proving grounds, but I learned it's not allowed, so I used the retired hack the box machines. Uh, so why I did this one? It is time consuming, definitely, but it's usually great reference to help you. So you have your notes kind of online store. You have to trick to the OneNote or Obsidian, whatever you're using as a note taking app. So it's a great way because a great way for the learning and also for the note noting everything so i learned myself that i as mentioned earlier uh, i like to explain to the others because that way i learned the best so what i did here is that a uh, common common errors for example you can see here uh, is that if i tried what i look so far for example common error we can see when trying to do kerberos thing or authentication for kerberos with the uh, uh, certificates or other good stuff about the Active Directory that, that depends on Kerberos is usually the clock skew is too great error. So we can see here, I already faced this error when I was doing the writers for the several different machines. So I can simply go to the one of these and go ahead and search for this clock skew error because I already encountered it before. So it's a great reference if you find yourself doing the machine. Uh, so you can go ahead quickly go to your blog post and find this error and how to resolve it. So this is the just one simple example approach. It doesn't have to be uh, published. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go ahead and either use a WordPress or build your own website or buy domain. Nothing of that matters really. You can go ahead and take your, build your for your own reference, for your own notes, but something that's going to help you maybe uh, get a habit of creating screenshots, documenting everything. It's really good habit I found for the report writing and something that I found really, really helpful, beneficial for myself. So it's also can maybe help somebody else who is a, a, facing the same trouble, same trouble, same issues with the machine or just looking for a write-up. So definitely useful thing. Uh, it is time consuming. So I didn't do it a lot. I did for certain machines. Uh, so uh, for the other machines, I what I did is make notes for my well, myself, for my reference. I kind of made small write-ups with a couple sentences only. And then whenever I learn something new, new technique, new approach, I would make a note of it in OneNote or Obsidian. So for an instance, an example here, we can see the all the Proving Grounds machine, not all, just a portion of those of the Proving Grounds machine and the Hack the Box machines that I found here. And I have the notes for myself with the screenshots and, the pro screenshots and approaches. So it's a great way, I think, to get habit of screenshotting everything, documenting, and just getting that muscle memory. So that would be the last thing that I have in my notes. Uh, overall, it's such a great experience for myself. How do, I highly recommend this. Uh, a pro this course, the OSCP exam, I learned definitely a lot from the uh, course itself, but also doing the various machines that are provided in, in the uh, TJ Null list and also the lanes list uh, and other resources uh, that's out there when it comes to Evo, Active Directory, Windows you know, Linux machines. It's an amazing experience. I, I highly recommend it. And then, of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below or find me on the Discord and I will be happy to help. I hope this video is helpful uh, and they find it useful and good luck on the exam.